All right, so let's go ahead and play around some more with the Cricut Joy Extra. And we are going to use the pens today. So the original Cricut Joy pens that came out with the original machine, I guess that was probably two or three years ago at this point, they can be used with the new Cricut Joy. So again, these are Cricut Joy pens and you can use them in the Cricut Joy Extra. So I have the little pen set here. Your machine does come with one black pen. So I have that as well. And what we're going to do is I thought it would be fun. My son is finishing his first week of preschool and I always like to do a teacher gift at the very end of the first week just to thank them for a great first couple days in the classroom. It's just a nice way to really appreciate the teachers. So I have some gift cards, I have some gummy bears, I have cute little baskets here that are little apple baskets. I got these from Dollar Tree and we're going to put vinyl on the second one. I will link everything that I am using from the pens to the vinyl to the SVG designs. Everything is going to be in the description box below, but we're gonna to put together some little teacher baskets, but I wanna use the pens to create little gift card holders. So let's go into design space. We're going to start there. I want to have my Cricut Extra write out a little gift card holder design, and then we're going to attach the cards to the little paper design that it writes and cuts out. So let's do design space real quick first and get everything all designed so that we can write and cut with the Cricut Joy Extra. So I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side because I am going to use a design that I purchased and I'm gonna upload it into Design Space. So let's see, where did that go? Let me go to View All and it's right here. So it is this thanks a latte for all you do. I'm going to add that to my canvas. I can just click View and it will take me to my canvas area. Okay, so here is my design. Now you'll notice that it looks a little bit crazy, right? It doesn't look like I want it to look at all. So what I wanna do real quickly is go over to my layers panel and as you can see, it's saying basic cut. But I don't want this to cut, I want this to write or draw because I'm using the pens. So I'm going to come up to operation, I'm up in the top panel up here. I'm going to come to operation, go to this little drop down that says basic cut, and I am going to say draw, but I'm more specifically going to select pen. And once I select that, you will see that now it looks much better and everywhere that you see a line is where the pen is going to draw this out. Okay, so I love how this looks so far. The only thing that I am actually going to do is I'm gonna come over to the layers panel and I'm gonna hide or take away the to and from. Okay, just because I don't want that on my specific one. So I'm gonna actually add a fun little card that I created for the teachers that I have all ready to go, so I'm not going to have a two from on this particular project. Now, what I want to do is I have the drawing portion all figured out for the pens, but I need to put it on something, and I want it to draw on a piece of paper that the Cricut also cuts out. So I'm gonna go over to my shapes, I'm gonna select that, and I'm just going to select a square, okay? Now I need to decide on the dimensions. I know I want a width of four. I'm gonna come up to the size box here, right at the top. I'm gonna unlock it because I want it to be a rectangle. If you keep it locked, then it's going to have the same height and width the entire time. So if I unlock it, I can change the width to four inches and then I can just manually change the height. Okay, so let's see here. I'm thinking and let me go ahead and right click and send this to the back. That way I can drag my design on top. I'm going to make this, well, let's do this. Let's go over to the shapes and I'm going to just create a pretend little gift card. So I'm gonna grab this little rounded rectangle and I'm gonna size this the size of my gift card. So my gift card is a width of approximately three and a half inches and it is a height of just about two inches. Okay, so there is my gift card. And let's make this a 
nice green, okay? And then just so that we can really see everything, let's make this a gray. That way we can see a little bit better. So if I bring my gift card here, oh, that looks really good. It gives it enough room. I can bring this down a little bit. Okay, I think that that actually looks really nice. So I'm gonna delete this. This was just a little template to, to see how big my gift card would look on there. So I'll delete that. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to select both of these and I wanna make sure that I actually centered this nice. So with both of them selected, I'm going to come up to a line and I'm going to say center horizontally. Okay, and it just nudged it just a hair. Now, what I'm going to do is I want my Cricut to actually write all of these words and this entire design exactly where I placed it on this rectangle. And in order for the Cricut to know that I want it to do that, I need to select everything. So I'm selecting the rectangle, I'm selecting my design, I'm gonna come down to the bottom of my layers panel and I'm gonna say attach. Okay, again, this tells my Cricut that I want it to write out my entire design exactly how I have it laid out on the screen here. Okay, so now I actually want to make two of these. So I'm going just to select and I'm gonna come over to my layers panel right at the top and say duplicate. Okay, that way I have two. Now we're ready to create. So you're going to make sure that your Cricut Joy Extra or whatever machine you're using is selected right up here. You can do this project on any of the cutting machines, so you're good to go. Just select which one is in front of you and then select Make It. On this next screen, you are going to be asked how you're going to load your materials. I'm gonna be using a cardstock, so I'm gonna put it on a mat. So I'll make that selection and say Confirm. And then we're given a mat preview screen right here. So it's showing how it's going to lay out my projects right on the mat. I'm just going to nudge that a little bit to the side a little bit and then I can say continue. Okay now it's going to locate my Cricut Joy Extra. Okay now we will select our material. So I'm going to put this on 110 pound cardstock. So I am going to come up to browse all materials and then I will go to the cardstock section and I'm going to use heavy cardstock as my setting. Now I know that this is something that people don't want to hear, but it has to be said, my machine may cut differently than yours. And that's just the truth of the matter. Every machine is created a little bit differently. So you're going to have to do a test cut on your machine. Just because it works great on my machine with that cut setting, doesn't mean it necessarily will on yours, just because all machines are a little different. Okay, so now that we've selected our selection, I'm gonna keep it on default pressure. I think that's going to work, um, but we'll see as it starts cutting out. So we also are going to first start by loading our black pen. After the Cricut writes out or draws with the black pen, then we're going to load the fine point blade so that it can cut. So we're gonna draw first and then cut. So it's saying to load black. If for some reason you want to load a different color, you absolutely can do that. Load any color that you want for this project. If you are doing a multicolor project where you have multiple colors that you're going to be putting into your machine, then you're going to want to really follow the prompts for the colors because those will be the color selections that you had chosen when you were designing your project. I do have a whole tutorial on how to do multiple pens in your machine and how to do a really colorful design. So just check that out. I'll link it down below for you. All right, let's go ahead and start loading our mat. Okay, so I'm going to use 110 pound cardstock. I have my blue Cricut Joy Extra Mat, and I'm just going to line up and place my cardstock down. Okay, let me go ahead and pull this out just a little bit, open this up, and we can load our mat. Okay. Now again, we're going to start with the pen. So once it's done measuring my mat length, then I will go ahead and put the pen into the little clamp. So I'm gonna open the clamp up. I'm gonna remove my little fine point blade, just set it right to the side here. And then I can take my little pen, remove the cap, there we go. And I always put the cap right back on the top, that way I don't lose it and then I'll place it right into the machine. Now you're not going to press it or anything, you just set it there. I like to just steady it and then close the clamp. Okay, so you're not pressing it down or anything, you're just going to set it right in. All right, now I can select go on my Cricut Design Space. Again, the Cricut Joy Extra is buttonless, so you're not going to press any buttons because it doesn't have any, so all of your selections will be done in Design Space. 
So I'll click go and it will begin the drawing portion of this project. Now that is all done, so I'm going to open up the clamp and remove the pen. And if you ever are confused about where you are in the process, just look at Cricut Design Space. It's going to tell you exactly what to do next. So now I need to load my fine point blade right back in and then close the clamp. Okay, and make sure I got that in just so. Okay, and then I can select go in design space once more and now it will do the cutting portion and this is where it's going to cut out those rectangles that we designed in design space. Okay, so it's cutting out the first rectangle. It actually is going to go around twice just because of the cut setting that I chose and it'll do the same to the next one. Now that it is all done, I can just click unload in Cricut Design Space and it will remove my mat, just like that. Okay, so it's all done. Now to remove my cardstock carefully without having it bend or roll up, I'm going to turn over my mat and then I'm going to bend the mat and not the cardstock. So I'm bending the mat and just kind of guiding that paper right off just like that and it comes off perfect do the same with this one it's already kind of bending this way so I can just kind of keep following how that's going and there we go okay and I'll take off the rest in just a little bit all right so now I have my cute little gift card holders aren't they sweet so let me go ahead and attach my gift cards what I think I'll do is just put some little foam squares right on the back and then these will be all ready okay so I just have foam adhesive right on the back I'm just taking the liner off and then I can place my little gift card right on the little paper there isn't that cute? I think that's so fun. And I will link this design down below so that you can do this if you'd like. Um, I think it's super cute and I loved the little saying. Okay, and then there we go. Okay, so there are two little holders. Let's go ahead and add the vinyl to one of the little baskets. I still have one to do and then I'll fill these up, but that's how easy it is to draw and write with the Cricut Joy pens. Okay, so I still have this and I'll bring my little tools in. Let's also grab some transfer tape. Okay. And I got these, I can't remember if I mentioned or not that I got the little apple boxes from, oops, it has a little bit of lint in there. Um, I got these from Dollar Tree and then I just added some chalk paint to the front there. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to get these all filled up and out of my craft room. Let me go ahead and take this. I like to burnish the back once more just to help that transfer right on over. Okay, easy peasy. And let's place this right on. Oh, I love that. It's so fun. I didn't even, I didn't even try to color match my gift cards, but you know, it just worked out that way. I wanted them to be nice and vibrant and fun. And the gummy bears are a kind of fun yellow. So everything kind of coordinates pretty thoughtfully here. Okay, let's grab all of the little items to put inside. Okay, so I'm just adding a cute little pencil there. 
put like this one right over here. And then my little gift card just kind of tucks right back there. So there are my little gifts. How cute are they? And here is a really easy idea for not only learning your Cricut Joy pens, but creating a fun little gift or idea with them. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you again want to learn how to use multiple pens in your machine, then I will place a link to that down below. That way you can watch that video. It's a really popular video and it really walks you through, through all of um, the pen changes and all of that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching and we are going to continue working on the Cricut Joy extra stickers and I think we have a couple more projects that we still need to work through with this new machine so be sure to subscribe if you're brand new so you can continue learning this fun new machine by Cricut and I'm enjoying learning it myself. All right everyone I'll see you next time.